the spokesman of the Ministry of External Affairs, Arindam Bachchi, last Friday, welcomed the appointment of Eric Garcetti as the US Ambassador to India. When his attention was drawn to Garcetti's soft comments about human rights issues in India, Bachchi tamely replied, you might have seen some of those comments on social media, but that's old hat. Garcetti has recently made no such remark, Bachchi said. What inference do you draw from this statement? The Garcetti had indeed made those critical comments in the past about human rights concerns in India, but our external affairs ministry is of the view that we must not take cognizance of these critical remarks as they are not of recent origin. Let's for the time being accept this at the face value, but then we must ask, how old these comments are? Did Garcetti make those comments when he was a college student? Possibly a young radical? If that was the case, then we can understand that was youthful exuberance and we must gloss over it. But that is not the case. Bachis of this world need to be reminded that Garcetti made those critical comments during his questioning by the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for his confirmation as the US envoy to India. As for the US practice, all major presidential nominations have to be approved by a majority vote in the upper house before the nominees become eligible for office. Garcetti, who was then the mayor of Los Angeles, was nominated by President Biden to be Indian ambassador in July 2021. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee interrogated Garcetti in December 2021. In that hearing, Senator Bob Mendes, chairperson of the Senate committee, put this question to Ambassador Nomini Garcetti. What was that question? Given India's democratic backsliding and discrimination against minorities, how will you address the concerns of the US as our ambassador? Let me repeat. The senator asked Garcetti, given India's democratic backsliding and discrimination against minorities, how will you address the concerns of the US as our ambassador to India? It's obvious that Senator Mendes was quite emphatic in his statement that democracy is on the back foot in India and that minorities are being discriminated against in this country. What will be Ambassador Garcetti's mandate to deal with it? Was the question. Garcetti's response was equally emphatic. He said, Respect for human rights and strong democratic institutions are key to the relationship between India and the US. He said he would engage with the Indian government on all such matters with all seriousness. This will not just be a minor obligation, it would be my core assignment as Ambassador Garcetti emphasized. That was the gem part of his observation. Then came down to the specifics. Garcetti told the Senate that he would specifically raise the matter of discrimination against Muslims in India, such as through the Citizenship Amendment Act. Garcetti did not stop there. He went on to assure the Senate committee that he would directly engage with course of human rights organizations in India who are working valiantly to protect the interests of the minorities and other vulnerable sections in the society. Well, that was December 2021. But the Senate affirmation could not happen then as the President Biden's Democratic Party did not have a clear majority in the House. In November 2022, with fresh winds, 
when Democrats achieved a clear majority in the Senate, President Biden renominated his key loyalist Garcetti again, and this time his nomination went through. And Garcetti's change of status came about last week from being ambassadorial nominee to the ambassador designate. He would probably join his new job in Delhi sometime this week. Garcetti has not retracted. Mind you, he has not retracted his statement made 15 months ago. Will then Garcetti live up to the promise he made to the US Senate? The future will tell. But if it does, he will be in the eye of the storm. Our government will not take it lying down. That will spark tension between the two countries. It's quite unlikely that the US, which is sitting bigger business opportunities in India, will jeopardize its commercial interests by upping the human rights issue in India. It is possible that Darcy made those forceful comments just to assuage the sentiments of some of the senators who are hugely concerned about what they call brazen human rights violations in India. Now that Garcetti has been installed in office, it's quite probable that his human rights concerns will take a back seat. But Arindam Bachi and the Ministry of External Affairs need to be told not to indulge in half-truths. Let's keep the record straight. Garcetti's comments about the minority rights abuses in India are certainly not old vintage. They were made after he was nominated to be the US ambassador to India. I would have thought that Indian government would have strongly reacted to Garcetti's comments that he would directly engage with human rights activists working in India for the vulnerable sections. That's present foreign interference. India should have howled. But the meek reaction of the External Affairs Ministry that this was an old assertion clearly tells us how vulnerable we are as a democracy vis-a-vis -vis the United States of America.